So I have a job and an entertainment post. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm also starstruck, so excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, um, so what I do is I'm in the world of media entertainment and on all these red carpets that I go to, all these, I interview celebrities and all these people, and it has been glaringly obvious to me that we are missing in that conversation. As a former Miss Kenya, I think it always is at the forefront of my mind to represent Kenya in every room I go into. And so I notice when they're not there and we're never there. And whenever they talk about Africa, the first thing that they talk about is Nigeria or South Africa or Ghana. And I'm like, there's this gem that nobody is talking about. We have a great democratic state that is great for Hollywood to work in. We have so much talent. They say, what's amazing about Kenya is not just the world of wildlife and the flora and the fauna. You can tell that you stand, right? I know that. <laughs> but it's also the people. And the reason why the people are such a highlight is because naturally, traditionally, we are very creative, passionate people. But our school system does not quite encourage our children to pursue those passions. So here, um, in my work as a TV host and a journalist, I realized that they were not used to voices like this. I'm a very eloquent speaker, but it's, they couldn't place me because they only want to either hear uh, when they see a black woman. If it's not an African American accent or a British accent, then it must be a Nigerian or South African. And I'm like, no, I'm Kenyan. So I watched this lady, and I'm almost done. Um, she's a Nigerian first generation um, journalist. She started a platform called The Shade Room. I watched over the last 10 years as the shade room changed the face of media and ushered in Afrobeats into um, the US, which has brought African music to the forefront of things. So I thought to myself, I cannot just go on hoping to land a spot on someone's TV show. I'm going to start my own platform as well and do the same thing because I know we have talent in Kenya that I want the world to see. I'm very passionate about my country. So that's why I'm the CEO of Extra Access Media. We are based in Los Angeles. We, uh, we have a great team of journalists, and my whole thing is media pushes the world of entertainment and creativity. And when, uh, as much as they like to showcase Kenyan talent, when they get here, they need to find platforms ready and willing to bring them to the rest of the world without thinking, who is this person? We don't really care. And so our mission is to be Hollywood's access portal, which we are, but I want to be able to be a voice so that I can say, oh hey, so I brought you all these Hollywood stars, now check out this Kenyan talent. So, Your Excellency and everyone, part of our state government, I'd like to know how would you work with people like you who are trying to be um, a mover and a changer in media here. Thank you.